Let's add a contact to our database. By the way, if you wanted to add a group of contacts all at once, you would use the import feature which you can find under settings. There are several places in the system where you can add a single contact. The home screen, the contact screen, from the Rolodex, and from within another contacts record. They all take you to the same place, which is here. So let's fill in this information. A lot of this is self-explanatory, so we'll just cover the tricks and tips. In the birthday section, year is optional. If Joey and Mary are married, and they use the same last name, you can just leave Mary's name blank, and the system will assume the same last name. If Mary had a different last name, or they were not married, you would want to enter her last name in here. Most of the time we send physical mail to the home address, but if you will be sending physical mail to a company, you can put the company name here and then check this box. There is only one address in the system, so it's going to be either for the home or the business for this contact. Here's a special box you should know about, inactive. If you check this box, this contact will never be included in your client touch work groups. Let's put in our phone numbers. With each phone number, we can put a note here. If it's a basic note like home, sell, or work, just click on these dots. If you want to put a special note in here, then just type it in. A brief note would be some general information about this contact, like Joey likes golf. The brief note will show up on the contact record and is not to be confused with notes that you will be using on an ongoing basis. Entering the source here will help us remember where we originally found this client. Use Category, Category 2, and Flags to segment your database. You set up your sources, categories, flags, and custom fields here in Settings.